Okay, today we are going to do rational word problems. So we're going to create our own rational equation based off of a word problem. Um, most of these, or almost all of these, are dealing with the things that are being done like in an amount of time, okay? So my rational expressions, they are fractions, they are ratios, okay? They are rates. That's how we're going to apply them to these kinds of word problems. <clears throat> All right, so we have one of each different kind that you could see. Your worksheet is going to kind of match up with those different examples. We will check your answers tomorrow. If you get done today, you can get a stamp. Okay, so first off, we have Sally, okay? If Sally takes 15 hours to paint a room by herself, and Lisa can paint the same room in 25 hours, so it's the same job, Okay, how long would it take them to paint the entire room if they worked together? Okay, so we have Sally. Whoop, try that again. There we go. We have Sally, we have Lisa, and we have together, right? <clears throat> Sally is doing her one job in 15 hours. Lisa is doing the same job in 10 hours. That's her rate. So in one hour, she gets one-tenth of the job done. In one hour, Sally gets one-fifteenth of the job done. That's how that's being represented, okay? It's their rate, okay? Together, we don't know. We don't know how long it's gonna take, okay? So that is the setup of it, of just like the fraction part. Working together typically means adding, right? When we say together. So when they're together, it should equal this guy, okay? You should not, oh, hold on. Where did 10 come from, guys? Here we go. I don't know what just happened there. Sorry. So sorry. Okay. So Lisa does it in 25 hours. So in one hour, she does 1 25th of the room. There we go. Woohoo, six period. Okay. Um, so together, we should not, it does not make sense to say that together it would take 40 hours. Right? It does not make sense to add their hours together. It should be less, right? It should be less than either one of them. It should be less than 15 hours, right? Does that math make sense? Because they're working together. So if I'm like, oh, isn't it just the average? No, because they should be faster, okay? It should be quicker. Our time should be less than that. So we can kind of expect what our answer should look like. Less than 15, more than zero, somewhere in between there, okay? So how do we do it? Well, now we have a rational equation that we can solve. Our denominators are 15, 25, and x. We have three separate denominators, right? My first one is missing. It has the 15, right? It needs the 25 and it needs the x, right? So one times 25 times, times x is just 25x. This middle guy needs the 15 and the x. So this becomes just 15x. And then my last one has the x already. It needs the 15 and the 25. Okay, because then if I do that, now all three rational pieces have a 15, a 25, and an X in their denominator. Okay, uh, what is 15 times 25? 15 times 25 is 375. There we go. And from here, we're just gonna add and then divide. Add these together to get 40x equals 375. Then we're going to divide by 40. I get 9.375. So it's going to take about 9.375 hours if they work together. So word problems do get word answers. So I would specify that that's how it takes together. Does that answer make sense? Yes, that makes sense. That's less than 15. <clears throat> well, yeah, not, not exactly half the time. It looks like Lisa's a little bit slower than Sally, right? So we didn't cut it in half, but almost a little bit. Nine hours is still better than 25 hours. What's up? they are all multiplying. Yep, I'm showing what we had to multiply in to get our common denominator. Yeah. I, I was doing parentheses earlier and it got way messy, so I, I'm, I tried that. <laughs> okay. 
All right, we good? Are we okay? Because we're going to like level up a little bit each time. Okay, I'm going to go to the pipe question below here. So the pipe A, pipe B. Pipe A will fill a tank in four hours, and pipe B will empty that same tank in six hours. The tank is empty, and then both pipes are opened. How many hours will it take to fill the tank? Okay, so it's draining um, slower than it's filling, right? It would fill up quicker than it's being drained out. It can fill up in four hours, it gets drained out in six. Okay, so the job is the tank. Whether it's filling up the tank or draining the tank, they share the same tank, yes? So, to fill the tank, and then to empty the tank, we're taking water away, right? Because they're kind of working against each other. How long would it take to fill the tank? So we don't know the time. So my X goes underneath it. Yes. Um, no. I'm going to do all the ones that do have the ones on top. And then there's two of them on here that aren't. I mean, I know. I didn't mean to. Yes, sir. It represents the, the thing that's being done, the, the action of, the t of filling up the tank. So to fill up the tank is one-fourth of an hour. In one hour, one-fourth of the tank is full, one-sixth of the tank is empty. Okay. Okay. So I want to know how much time, so the bottom is your time, how much time will it be for that tank to be complete? Yeah. Yes. Yep. Yeah. Um, all of these are going to be ours. Everything today is going to be ours. All right. So my denominators are four, six, and X. My first piece is missing the six and the X, right? So this becomes six X. The middle piece is missing the four and the X. We have a minus this time. And my last piece is missing the four and the six. So that's 24. Did I lose anybody by doing that and not really showing my work? No. We're okay? We're good? Okay. Six minus four is two. Divide by two, we get 12. It's going to take 12 hours to fill the tank. So as we're filling it up and draining it out at the same time, they're working against each other, okay, it's going to take 12 hours for it to be completely full. What's up? X can't be zero, which, which would represent no time. So it is really applied to these, if that makes sense. Okay. That was a good question. All right, my next one. Kim can mow the greens at the golf course, so we're going over, uh, twice as fast as I can. Working together, we can mow them in four hours. How long will it take me to mow the greens alone? Okay, so we got Kim here. Kim can mow, she can mow the lawn, and however many, we don't know how many hours that is, right? But I know that she's twice as fast as I am. Does that make sense? So I am one, two X, meaning I take two times longer. Does that make sense? Why she does not get the two? X is the job. I'm two X, I take twice as long to do the job. Okay, together we do the job in, what did it say, four hours. So Kim, me, together. So it's kind of like the first one we did, but the X is in a different place. The hardest part on all of these is what we just did, getting it set up. I feel like from here, you know exactly what to do. So does anyone have any questions over what we just did? Okay. Okay, so we have X, we have 2X, and we have 4. 
So we have a little wiggle room going on here. I can make all of these what? I can make them all 4x, right? You probably didn't do it wrong. You might just have bigger things to deal with, but simplified, we should get the same thing if you did what I thought I did. So wait, wait and see. So I can make all these 4x, which means this first one's missing a 4, right? My middle one is missing a 2, and my last one's missing an x. Does that make sense? So this top is a 4 plus 2 equals x. So 6 equals x. Is that the answer to their question? No, because we just found out the time of what? Of Kim. Kim can do this job in six hours. The question is, how long is it going to take me to do the, to do the job? This is Kim. So how long is it going to take me? It takes me 12. Remember, I'm slower. Kim is faster than me. So if she's doing it in six hours, I'm going to do it in 12 hours. Okay. Two multiplied with the time, it gives me longer time, I'm slower. Now, who's the line <laughs> um, I am, apparently. <laughs> Hopefully it's one of those riding lawn mowers. Get a nice tan. Yeah, it, it is a whole golf course. Yep. There's usually like 18 or 36 of them to do. I know. Okay, um, so these two, they're about the same. Let's do, let's do this one up here. Here we go. We got Phil and we have Rick. Phil can paint the garage in 12 hours. Rick can do it in 10 hours. They work together for three hours and then Phil claims he has to leave. So Rick has to do the rest by himself. Okay. How long is it going to take Rick to finish this job alone? Okay. So let's figure it out. Let's, let's talk it out. Right now you're like, I don't know. So how many hours do they do together? They do it three hours together, right? We got Phil. Phil has done three out of his 12 hours, right? Ooh. Okay. Rick, Rick has done three out of his 10 hours, but he has more that he has to do, right? So he's done his three hours, but he has more time that he has to do. I'm using T for time for this one. I don't know why I switched it up, but I did. So he's done three hours plus whatever time is left. And we're equal to the one job, the one complete job. Okay, so they both have the three because they both shared those three hours, but then Phil left, so he didn't do any more. Rick gets the extra hours added to him equal to the job being complete. Does that make sense? The over 12 and over 10 represents the rate at, that, at like how quick they are at doing it. Okay, so technically I have a denominator of what, a one over here? So my denominator is 12, 10, and 1. We can bring in 12, 10, and 1. We can bring in, what's their common denominator? 60, right? We could do a 60. There's a couple ways to go about it. What, what do y'all want to do? I can bring in the 12, 10, and 1, or we can make them both equal 60. Do the 12, 10, and 1. You could also simplify the first piece if you wanted to. Yeah, there's yeah, there's lots of different because then that would be what 20 So there's lots of different ways to go about it So if you're thinking of a different way than your friend wait until the end you probably might have the same answer Okay to be consistent in just how we're doing it. I'm just gonna bring in the 12 and the 10. Oh I don't need the 12 do I? This has the 12 it needs the 10 this has the 10 it needs the 12 and this guy needs the 12 and the 10. So this is not the only way. There are other ways to do this. Okay. 
So now I have 30 plus, this becomes 36 plus 12t equals 120. 30 and 36 give me 66. Subtract that over to the other side to get 54. Divide by 12. What would make sense? 10. It's a 10. 54 divided by 12 gives me 4.5. Hours alone for Rick. I did. Yep, I subtracted 66 over. Okay. So there were, we named at least, what, three different ways to do this problem. All of those different ways should all lead to 4.5 hours of Rick doing it by himself. We good? Are we okay? Okay. Last one. Here we go. Crane A can unload the container ship in 10 hours, and Crane B can unload it in 14 hours. Crane A started to unload the ship at noon and was joined by Crane B at 2 p.m. At what time was the unloading job of the ship completed? Okay, so this time someone started off by themselves and then someone else came in, okay? <laughs> we good? I'm like, well, the, well, the difference is what we're trying to find, okay? So, the setup. We have crane A, we have crane B, and then we have together. Okay. Crane A, we know is going to be out of 10, Crane B, we know is going to be out of, what, 14? Like that. Ooh. There we go. Let's look at it. Crane A started, and then Crane B came in later, right? So Crane A did some time, and then Crane B did that time, or the, sorry, back up. The X represents the total time. That's what we're trying to find. Crane A worked the entire time, right? Crane A was there from beginning to end. Crane B missed out on the first two hours. So it's the total time minus two. Again, the divided by 10, the divided by 12 shows their work speed, the, the rate of speed that they're doing the job. So them together, they got the one job done. Is anybody confused on what we just, how we set the one up? Okay. So they're all a little bit different. I'm going to put over one. Um, and again, to be consistent, I'm going to do what I did in the last problem. Lots of ways to do this problem. Okay. I'm going to bring in the, the missing 10 or 14 of what, depending on what the problem needs. So my first one is missing the 14, right? So that becomes 14x. My middle piece is missing the 10. So that becomes 10x minus 20. And then my last piece is missing 14 and 10. So we're going to be equal to 140. This gives me 24x minus 20 equals 140. Add the 20 over. Oops. And divide by 24. We get 6.67. Okay. Now that's not the answer. What did it ask me? What time? What time was the job complete? Well, when did the job start? At noon, right? Am I going to say it happened at, at 667? Does that even make sense? No. So why seven? There, there's a hundred minutes in an hour. Be careful. Hold on. It's six hours. I agree with that. And then 0.67 of the next hour. So what is 60 times 0.6? There's 60 minutes, right? So only 67% of the next hour. 
0.67 times 60 gives me 40. So this is six hours and 40 minutes. So what time did they finish? They finished at 640. P.M. There's 60 minutes in an hour, correct? Decimals and fractions like this are based out of 100%, right? So that's why I can't do 67 minutes. It's 67% of the next hour. So of those 60 minutes, only 67% have gone by. Does that make sense? Yeah. And that's where the 40 came from. Mm -hmm. It's 40.2, but yeah, we're going to keep it 40. Yeah. Like that. Okay. So I am done. You are going to work. You have six problems. Okay. The first three, I'm hoping you can get through quite quickly. They're a whole, a whole lot like the first one we did together. Okay. And then the other ones, if you get confused, look at your notes. There is something on the notes to help guide you through those bottom three. All right.